Okay, somebody from the A team and somebody from the B team. Come on, or I'll choose people. Somebody from the A team, please. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, who do you have, Odin? Who do you have? Ease. Nope, it's got to be, it's got to be Jose. Why, who's he have? Uh, Suits. I'd rather take that. Go ahead. Okay, come on, 18. You have two minutes to tell why your God is good. I don't need that long, but okay. Odin uh, is the father of all the Norse gods. He uh, He's the grandfather of Thor. Um, he pretty much rules the uh, Norse. <laughs> um, Zeus, when I first started, I was the only one of the only being guy that didn't get caught or didn't get eaten by his father. He's able to free everyone else, and so <clears throat> um, he got kind of lucky when the draw. He's supreme ruler of all gods. Uh, he's also lord of the sky. Punishes those that lie or break oaths. He's also a god of justice and mercy, a protector of the weak, and a punisher of the wicked. Well, that sounds pretty good. Um, Odin, he uh, he does stuff to gain uh, inner wisdom. He uh, he hangs himself to gain knowledge. Um, I guess that's his his main point: is knowledge and wisdom. Um, Zeus is also the rain god. <coughs> um, what else about what I okay. Okay, so did you, get a, did you get a feeling of maybe which one is the better one? Do you have an idea? It's okay. definitely Zeus. It's not Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need you guys to sit down together. You're going to be a group again. Next group. Somebody from A. Who do you have? I have Hell. Hell? We need Hades. I got it. here on now. Tell me what you've got. Alright. Hades is a well known and feared god. He is powerful. He's wealthy. And he has a helmet that makes him invisible. Uh, so, in a sense, he's got superpowers. He's a businessman, uh, as you might call him. Uh, he's always trying to get his numbers of the dead up, so he's always trying to get more people. So in that sense, he's a businessman. Uh, being in the underworld, he doesn't have to worry about being bothered by anyone else because he's down in his own little hole. Nobody wants to go down there, so he's got that that benefit. Hell is a woman, therefore she's better. <laughs> <laughs> she is pure of nature. And helpful in times of need, but vengeful when people cross her. She helps people um, transform from dead to alive in a gentler way than what your guy does. <laughs> That's a pretty much it. She's, hey, she's part of life, life and death. But with Hades being a man, he can use his brute strength to overpower her. Yeah, she's not strong, she's just vengeful. He can perhaps. Um, her. <laughs> I doubt it. She's pretty smart. He's strong and powerful. It'll be a fight. <laughs> yeah, he's probably better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got it. He's got superpowers. <laughs> we don't have superpowers. That's not fair. If you think about it, though, how far does vengeance go compared to strength? Yeah, vengeance will well. last a long time mm -hmm. where strength will give. Okay, last thing. I still think she's better because she's a girl. I need you to go sit with Amanda or Amanda, okay. you need to come sit with me. Okay, so I have Thor, and he is known as the Thunderer and was considered to be a son of Odin. He is considered to be the protector of all Midgard, and he is strength personified, and his hammer. Mm. 
jewel near? That word. Causes lightning that flashes across the sky. Of all deities, he is the most barbarian. Of the lot, he is rugged, powerful, and lives by his own rules, although he is faithful to the rest of Aether. Okay. Let's see. Athena, she is the goddess of reason, intelligence, arts, literature, agriculture. She invented the plow, the yoke, the ship. She made the bridle so men could tame horses. Um, what else I got? She made invented instruments like the flute and the trumpet. She made the pot. She embodies wisdom, reason, and purity. She's Zeus's favorite child, and she gets to use all his weapons, including his thunderbolts. <laughs> well, <laughs> rebuttal. are both in, uh, they are both immortal, but in some instances her hammer or his hammer is stronger than Zeus's lightning bolt. Shh. I'm, I'm still I'm still smarter. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still smarter. stronger. I can ask Martin. I'm stronger than you know. I have wisdom. I have wisdom. Okay, thank you. Good job everybody. Good job. Okay, you need to sit together. Uh, really quick. Change at the top of the paper. This is a collaborative exercise. Don't start until I tell you what to do, please. Okay. Yes, please. On your, on your diagrams, on one side you're going to put the Norse god, and on one side, you're, the other side, you're going to put the Greek god. You can do it either way, but one side is Greek and one side is Norse. Everybody have that so far? Now I want you to take about five minutes and I want you to compare. Write down the strengths of your Norse god, write down the strengths of the Greek god or goddess, and then in the middle, write how they are the same. You're going to have to work together. Uh,